स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय Face of mounting worries about Israel's potential invasion of Rafah, reports suggest that the United States has agreed to transfer bombs and fighter jets worth billions of dollars to Jerusalem. This comes while Washington has publicly cast apprehensions over Israel's ground incursion of Rafah, the only remaining spot in Palestine for civilians to take shelter. Your ground operation there would be a mistake. It would lead to more innocent civilian deaths, worse than the already dire humanitarian crisis. deepen the anarchy in Gaza and further isolate Israel internationally. Two sources familiar with the development stated that the new arms package includes more than 1800 MK84 2000 pounds bombs and 500 MK82 500 pound bombs. The US provides Israel with 3.8 billion dollars in military assistance annually which has risen since the war torn nation began its counter offensive against Hamas terrorists controlling Gaza. The approval for supplying military equipment comes after Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant visited Washington where he discussed the country's needs for military assistance. The military aid for Israel comes as the nation is burdened with calls for a ceasefire and strong international criticism over its continued bombing and invasions in Gaza. Even though the United Nations passed a resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire a couple of days ago, Ignoring the resolution Israel stated that military operations would continue. Similarly, even the Joe Biden administration has been criticized globally for siding with the long-time ally Israel and supplying Jerusalem with air defenses and munitions. Additionally, a few members of his party have also expressed concerns while Arab Americans have criticized Joe Biden stating that Washington's support provides Jerusalem with a sense of impunity. Interestingly, Joe Biden on Friday acknowledged the pain being felt by several Arab Americans over the war in Gaza, yet he vowed continuous support for Israel. It is essential to note here that the US and Israel had drifted apart ever since the US refused to veto a UN resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war. However, taking a U-turn to mend ties with its sole ally, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu agreed to send two top officials to Washington to discuss the Rafa operation. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Friday told the families of soldiers held captive in the Gaza Strip that only continued military pressure ensured the safety of hostages, reiterating his intention to launch an offensive in Rafa.